Welcome to the Austin Method, where we help you develop the skills of square dancing. This is 110 run. We're going to start with the definition, as we always do. Here we go. So run is the directed or active dancer. This is the first we've mentioned, active dancers. There are many identifiers in square dancing. You can be the boy, you can be the girl, you can be the in-facing dancer, the out-facing dancer. Active dancer is the dancers who last were active are assumed to be the next actors in a call. This definition refers to the active dancer. You can go back to the general info videos and check out the section on identifiers because that's what this is referring to. In square dancing, you'll wear many, 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 many identifiers, some many at the same time. You can be a in-facing dancer and the end of a line or a center of a line. So check that video out. The directed or active dancer moves forward in a semicircle 180 degrees around the adjacent dancer to end in the adjacent dancer's starting position as they slid over. It's a little harder to describe than it is to do, but it's also a little confusing for a lot of people initially. This is going to be boys run here. The boys are going to run around the girl dancers. And literally, it's they go forward in an arc while the girls move over and take their place. Everybody has an action when it comes to a run. It's either sliding over or running around the person. That's one of the things people often make a mistake on. The other is, for some reason, some people seem to think that they need to either run around behind or in front of somebody always, and so they'll take a step back to try and run behind them. You never, ever take a step back. Run is always in the forward direction. It doesn't matter what direction your partner is facing in or, or the person you're running around is facing in. You run around them in a forward direction. So in the case of mini waves, the boys are still running, but now they're running behind the girls while the girl slides over. The definition of the call has nothing to do with passing in front of or behind the other dancer. You always run forward around the dancer. So no backing up here. Run is a very basic building block of many other compound calls. It's also something that callers use very much to rearrange the dancers. It's very common, extremely important to get it down solid. Runs, trades, folds, and circulates, you're going to hear those a lot. Pay attention when you come to those. Get run down nice and smooth. Remember, always go forward. Always run around the next person. And if you're not the directed dancer, you slide over. Going over the stats real quick, the number of beats you have to get around there on the run is four. It is not gender specific. No matter who's called on to run, you do it the same way. Frame wise, you need to make sure you let go of your partner so that they can do the run. You can kind of tell your partner, oh, you're the one that needs to go. So I guess there, there's a little frame involved there. Flow, this one produces momentum that is often used to lead into several other calls that we're going to get to a little further down the line. It's pretty exact. The purpose in this case says NA because there is no specific purpose for run. It's used for many purposes to change the formation in lots of different ways because it's taking one dancer, putting them on the other side of another, and turning them around. It can change all kinds of formations into other kinds of formations. So there's nothing specific that it always does. So that's the reason the purpose is NA. 110, run. Bow to your partner. Boys, run. Always run forward. There are only two calls where that first step may be backwards. 
Boys run again. Half sachet. Boys run twice. Girls run twice. Half sachet. Girls run. Boys run. Everybody, you turn back. And you should be home. Thank you for visiting the Austin Method. We hope to see you on the dance floor soon.